I'm just reading about the Canon M6 Mark II on Canon's webpage where it says under color sampling that video files from the EOS M6 Mark II are recorded in IPB compression. The color sampling method is 420, 8-bit recording, and the color matrix is REC709. When I started out, I had no idea what this information meant. 8-bit, 420, IPB. If you're also wondering about this, in this video, we're going to try and explain just that. Coming up. Hi, my name is Roger and on this channel we talk about cameras, tech gear and videography. And I would appreciate the early thumbs up since it seems like that's what triggers the YouTube algorithm nowadays. 8-bit, 422 and IPB. Do you actually need to know what this is, what it means and how it works in order to film with your Canon M6 Mark II or any other camera? with the same specs as the M6 Mark II? Well, no. It's like you don't need to know how the engine of a car works in order to drive the car. You just have to learn to drive. And the same goes for cameras. You don't need to know how the image is captured and processed in the camera. You just need to know how to operate the camera. But knowledge is a funny thing. The more you know and understand about how a thing works, the easier it is to understand the possibilities of that thing and also the limitations of the thing you are using. Like it says, the M6 Mark II records in 8-bit. And just an FYI, the EOS R that I'm recording on right now, that also records in 8-bit. So, what is a bit? Well, welcome to another explanation video. The answer to this question might be a little bit technical, but stay with me. I'll try and explain it as easy as possible. In this case, bit is referred to as bit depth, also known as color depth. Bit tells us how many shades of color there is in each color component in one single pixel on the sensor. Kind of confusing. Well, the M6 Mark II, it has a 32.5 megapixel sensor. That's 32,500,000 pixels in that tiny sensor. And the amount of bits tells us how many different shades of color in each color component each individual pixel can distinguish between. Now, color components, you might ask, well, I'll come back to that in just a bit. <laughs> a digital image or video is made up of pixels and each pixel produce one single color. And the specific color produced is created with three specific values or shades of red, green and blue. And here is where bits come into the picture. So let's try and explain bits and the difference between 1 bit and 8 bit. 1 bit has two shades of color, darkest of dark and brightest of bright. 2 bits adds another two shades. So we have our previous dark shade and bright shade from the one bit. But now we also have in addition one slightly lighter dark and one slightly less bright. That adds up to four shades in a two bit. And this continues as we go further up the bit scale. For each step up on the bit scale, we double the amount of shades from the previous bit. And when we reach 8 bit, we now have 256 different shades of color. Like 50 shades of gray 
is like somewhere between 5 and 6 bits. <laughs> when talking about bits, we usually talk about bits per color component or color channel. And the different color channels or color components a camera needs to make an image is like we said, red, green and blue, RGB. So an 8-bit camera has 8 bits or 256 shades of red, 8 bits or 256 shades of green and 8 bits or, you guessed it, 256 shades of blue. So the amount of bits tells us how many shades of color the sensor can distinguish between on each pixel. As 8 bit equals 256 different color shades in both red, green and blue, we get a total of 256 times 256 times 256, which is 16.78 million different shades of color. And that's the explanation of 8-bit. But last year we got the R5, the R6, A7S III, just to mention a few new cameras. And if you watched reviews of those cameras, you probably noticed people talking about that finally we got 10-bit internal recording on those cameras. So how many different shades of red, blue and green does a 10-bit camera have? If we continue up our bit scale, we had 8 bits at 256 shades. 9-bit will be 512 bits and 10 bits equals 1024 different shades of color for each color. So 1024 shades of red, 1024 shades of green and 1024 shades of blue. And 1024 times 1024 times 1024 equals 1 1.07 billion different shades of color. And that's quite a lot more colors in a 10-bit camera than in an 8-bit camera. So now you might think, well, that sucks and I just got my 8-bit camera. I guess I have to sell that and get me a 10-bit camera then. And that's when I say, hold on just a bit. <laughs> Whether you should keep your 8-bit camera or upgrade to a 10-bit camera, that all depends on how much you're going to process the video in post. Are you color grading your videos and how much are you color grading your videos? The benefit of a 10-bit footage is that you have so much more color information than in an 8-bit more shades of color to play around with in post. What you may experience with an 8-bit footage is what they call banding. That's when you push the colors too far in post to the point where you see these blocks of color. And that's because there's not enough color shade information to get the colors to blend smoothly. So with a 10-bit footage you can push the colors a lot more because there is a lot more color shade information. So it all depends on your post processing work if you need a 10-bit camera over an 8-bit camera. And by the way, if you upload your videos to YouTube, the YouTube compression makes your end footage into an 8-bit footage. So even with a 10-bit video uploaded to YouTube, you might experience banding anyway. So I hope that was an easy enough explanation so that you understood what I was talking about. If not, just go back and watch it one more time. And we haven't even touched upon 420 and IPB. So I guess we have to take those two topics in one or two other videos. So I guess I have to say that that's the video for this week. I Hope you got something out of it. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, leave a comment in the comment section. It's always nice to talk to people in the comment section. And yeah, 
maybe I will see you in another video.